What's up, everybody? I got my book in my hand. Corner stores in the middle of the block. You know why? Because in my neighborhood, there's a corner store, but it's in the middle of the block. See? A corner store in the middle of the block. And these stores are usually owned by people that are not from the neighborhood. That's why black neighborhoods are like a bucket with a bunch of holes in it. Black people, black people spend 98% of our money with everybody else. And we live off 2% of our money. That's why everybody live off for 100% of their money and 98% of black people's money. That's why black neighborhoods always look so rough. But, um, you know, I put a post on Facebook yesterday about Jesus not coming to save black people. And the black people were mad at me. And then they started mixing up, like, Egyptian theories and Egyptian, uh, I, uh, you know, Egyptian history and stuff like that. And tell us how our history was stolen from us. And that's all, well, that's true. You know, it was stolen. But knowing all that Egyptian history is not going to help black people in the sense that it's not going to bring money into the black pocket. You know, it's not going to bring money. It's not going to bring black dollars for black people. You know what's going to bring black dollars for black people? Controlling, controlling and owning resources. See this train station? We don't own that train station. We don't own no tunnels. We don't own no bridges. You can go all over America and you can't find five black people that own a building that's more than five stories high. You know, it's about what you own and control in America. It's not about religion. It's not about what Jesus is going to give us. And what's going to happen now pretty soon is that you're going to have metro forms of government where, um, you know, uh, uh, like the wealthy will start buying property and privatizing it. And then you got to pay what they charge to use their property. Like they're going to start buying bridges and tunnels. They're going to start buying property that was once owned by the public. And they're going to buy it and then privatize it. The same way they privatize prisons and then they can pretty much make the rules. They can call the shots and that's what's going to happen. And then black people are going to be still sitting on our hands waiting for Jesus to crack open the sky, you know, and come save us. You know, black people need to wake up and it's just a form of indoctrination that's been handed down over years and years and mainly through the television. And that's one other thing I want to talk about. It's like black people don't own any television stations and radio stations to speak for us. And this is why Sean Hannity, Rush Limbaugh, and Bill O'Reilly can say what they want to say. And there's no black person on the opposite of the table to defend black people. And, you know... That's what the problem is. And black people just stop waiting for Jesus to come save us because Jesus ain't going to do shit. Jesus ain't going to do nothing for black people. Nothing. Him, Moses. And like I would say, how can Jesus save me when he couldn't save himself? Black people need to wake up, man. Wake up, black people, and realize that Jesus is not coming to save us. We got to do shit on our own.